The cafeteria, as one would expect, was abuzz with activity right now. The moment the bell had rung for lunchtime, every student in the school had come rushing in, creating a veritable frenzy. After getting their food and settling down into their respective groups, the youngsters all started chatting with one another, and the talk on everybody's lips right now was, of course, the upcoming school play. Everyone was excited about it, of course, and talks ranged from who would be playing what part to what was going to be happening behind the scenes. But amongst all of this, there was one student who seemed to be content in just getting down to her food, and that was Applejack. While occasionally glancing over at her fellow CHS students, the farm girl was, for the most part, just happy doing what she was doing. But, after taking in one particularly large mouthful of her lunch, she looked up after hearing just the tiniest sound of someone clearing her throat, before giving a wide smile. Room for one more? Fluttershy had smiled back to her as she'd spoken that, and Applejack, giving a nod of consent, gestured to the empty seat beside her. The animal lover giggled to this before promptly taking her place. For a time, the two girls simply focused on their meals, happy that they were among friends as they did so. But as the moments passed them by, Fluttershy eventually looked over to her friend and spoke up. I truly am grateful for your help earlier, Applejack. Chuckling, Applejack adjusted her hat slightly before responding. Heck, Flutters. You weren't no dribble. Any of us would have helped you out back there. Nodding, Fluttershy spoke up again. I know, but your advice really was helpful. Considering that, a knowing smirk came to the young farmer. Well, you didn't exactly follow my advice, did you? A blush came to Fluttershy at that, but Applejack just seemed to take the matter in good humor. Ah, uh, it's no problem, Fluttershy. Though I am wondering, you just saw a whole bunch of me? Giggling again, Fluttershy nodded. I did. I had a hard time with the chickens. So, I, well, just sort of imagined the one who gave me the advice instead. Leaning back into her chair, Applejack thought on that. Huh. Wonder what it'd be like if there were a whole mess of Applejacks around. Poking her chin with a finger briefly, Fluttershy thought on that question herself. Oh my, I'm not sure. Well, what would you do if you had more than one of you around? Folding her arms, a smile came to Applejack's lips as she dwelt on that question. Well, first off, I'd get around to fixing the barn out back. It's been falling to bits for months now. We'd need a few extra hands around, and, well, having a whole bunch of other mess close by would be pretty handy. Then, she considered that situation further. I reckon it'd be pretty good when the sports days come. Imagine a whole team of Applejacks just plowing down whatever other team comes our school's way. Raising a hand over her mouth, Fluttershy stifled a giggle to that. Oh dear, I'd almost feel sorry for them. The two girls laughed together during this, and it was obvious to anyone that they were having fun over this little bit of speculation they'd made for themselves. For a time afterwards, however, they got back to their meals, if only out of fear that they'd go cold if they left them uneaten for too long. Thankfully, this took little time, and as soon as they'd finish off their respective plates, they got back to the main topic of conversation. Although, I imagine it'd be pretty tiring after a while. Fluttershy looked to her with some confusion. Oh, what do you mean? Leaning into her chair again, Applejack sighed. I mean, 
Having a whole bundle of other Applejacks sounds like it'd be helpful and all. But I don't think it'd be good for other stuff. Facing her fully, Fluttershy looked to her with curiosity. How so? A pause fell over them, and Applejack spent the next few moments trying to put her thoughts into words. Then, after Fluttershy had given her as much space as she needed for that, she looked on silently as her farmer friend explained matters. Well, imagine this. You got this friend who you get along great with. They share all the same likes and dislikes you do. And it all seems pretty good, right? Fluttershy nodded, but kept quiet as Applejack continued. But then you realize that everything they say, everything they do, it's all just stuff you do. It's all the same. You're pretty much just hearing your voice echoing back at you, 24-7. Fluttershy considered that. Oh my, I suppose that would get a little... Um, Applejack looked to her with a knowing smirk. Boring? Fluttershy blushed a little. I wasn't going to say it, but... Applejack let out a hearty laugh before then carrying on. The fact of the matter is, as much as me, Rambo, Rarity, and all of you don't always agree or think the same way, I'd still rather spend time with you than just a bunch of people who think and act just like I do. Smiling, Fluttershy nodded. Verity is the spice of life. I think I heard Rarity say that once. Another laugh escaped Applejack at that. Well, on this count, she and I agree. The two laughed together, but it was a short-lived one this time. For when Fluttershy regarded her friend, she reached out, placing a hand gently upon her shoulder. Applejack looked to her, and was, at first, unsure of what she was doing. But soon, and with the friendly smile on her face, Fluttershy spoke. Maybe having multiple Applejacks would be a bit of a hassle, but that doesn't mean I didn't appreciate them when I imagined them. With her other hand, she placed it upon her own chest continuing to speak softly. When I was up there, seeing so many of my confident, helpful friend, it was exactly what I needed to get through my difficulties. Her smile widened. There may not ever truly be more than one Applejack, but all the same, the world could always do with more of people like you in it anyway. Now, Applejack wasn't always one to blush. But right here, with that kind of compliment being sent her way, she couldn't help but give one now, and she nervously scratched the back of her head. Ah, shucks, sugar cube. That's real sweet of you. Giggling one more time, Fluttershy gave Applejack a pat on the shoulder. Well, if it helps, you can always imagine a group of me if you're having trouble one day. Her blush now faded. Applejack gave off one last chortle. Thank you, Flutters. I reckon I might just do that. 